The purpose of this video is to show you how you can use uh, SharePoint Design Manager in SharePoint Online to move a design from one side collection to another. So in this case, we're using out of the box SharePoint Online uh, team side collection. Uh, and what we have on the top of it is origami framework applied to it, which brings pages and lists and all the other goodies that you see here, uh, as well as some of the design elements uh, such as color, CSS and JavaScript. So well, let's take a look at how we can uh, package it all and save it as a design package with the design manager. So first things first, in order to use a design manager, uh, which I can access right from here, I need to have a publishing feature um, enabled on my site. So to access my publishing features, I'm going to go to site settings. And in this case, uh, I already have publishing features enabled. But uh, if you don't, um, you need to enable them right here under site collection. So you need to enable SharePoint publishing infrastructure as well as so that's one place that you need to enable it on and another one under manage site features you need to enable uh, the publishing feature as well right here so i have them both enabled obviously i've enabled that before in fact it's enabled as part of the origami framework um, so let's go ahead and uh, and package this uh, branding uh, into uh, using a design manager so i'm going to click on settings and click design manager one thing that you'll see here is lots of different uh, options. I'm going to go right to the very end because I've already added it. Uh, things like, um, you know, my JavaScript files, my uh, CSS files, the master page. So I'm just going to um, go right to the last step and say, sure, that's the name that I want. I'm going to create a design package and wait for SharePoint to finish the job. In the meantime, while this is happening, I'm going to go ahead and create new site collection. I'm going to call it DM test and this is where this is a destination site where I'm gonna uh, apply my design package so I'm gonna create the site collection okay while my site collection is being created I'll wait for this package to finish okay so my design package uh, has been created and also my site collection uh, the DM test that we created has just been provisioned. So I'm going to open that um, site. And this is it. This is just out of the box uh, page with with some blue and white branding. So let's see if we can transfer some of the branding here to this new site. So I'm going to click it says here download uh, the package by clicking here. So I'm going to download it. And let's see how we can import it. So I'm going to go back to my DM test. And first things first, of course, on this new site, because it's a team site, I don't have publishing features, so I don't have a design manager uh, enabled so I or available. So I'm going to need to go ahead and uh, enable my um, publishing features. First of all, I'm going to go to uh, site collection publishing feature and enable that. That takes um, about a minute or two in SharePoint Online, so I'll uh, pause while we wait for that. Okay, so our site collection publishing feature is enabled. Let's go back to settings and enable the uh, site publishing uh, feature. And here it is. That also takes a couple of seconds, not as long as the site collection feature. Okay, and it's enabled. So now we can go back to settings again and we should see the design manager with all of, the, all of this functionality. So I'm gonna click on design manager and now we're going to actually import the design package. Remember how we went to the create design package? Well, this time we're just going to say import design package, right? The first step. I'm going to choose a file and I'm going to specify my file that I've uh, downloaded earlier and click import. And that will take a couple of, I would say, about a minute. So let's see what's the site going to look like after that uh, process is completed, the import process is completed. So while we're waiting here to for design package to import, I was thinking it'd be it'd be interested to see what the design package looks like in its core. So what I'm going to do is uh, this is our design package that we've downloaded. I'm actually going to rename it to cab, and what it, what this allows me to do is actually go through the uh, uh, what what's the content of the design package. So there's several different components inside here. Uh, there's also files. And in here, um, you can see that design package contains uh, the link to our master page, our theme, 
Um, it also contains um, links to our sample images uh, inside our site assets library, things like logo, background, anything like that. Um, style libraries, that's a big one. That's where all of our styles live. Um, so CSS and JavaScript, that's where, uh, that's where we keep all of, the, um, all of our assets. So that's really what the design package is all about. Let's go ahead and see if our import has finished. So the import has succeeded. And uh, as you can see, you can tell that it succeeded uh, by the site look. Uh, so we can see that the master, master page has been applied and the site colors have been applied. Uh, let's see what's not been applied. So I'm going to click on the uh, logo here. Now one of the things that you'll see is although all of my styles, little chrome around uh, the, the web parts have been applied, I don't see any of my subsites, right? If I was to compare it with, with this site, I don't see the footer and I'll explain why in a moment. I don't see the footer and I don't see the logo. So the logo is not uh, has not been applied even though it's there and even though it's part of the design package. Um, so one of the things to be uh, to know about the design package is it doesn't import any of the lists. If I go back to uh, this original site here, if I click on site contents, as you can see as part of origami package we have all of these like footer items, footer sections, poll, uh, quick links, all of the components that show up on a home page, for example, none of them are here. So this is something that you would need to transfer manually. Otherwise, if you have some JavaScript elements that are using these components, then they won't be there. Uh, so that's a key thing to remember. And that's why uh, we, don't have, uh, we don't have our footer showing up here because our footer is driven by uh, the list configuration. Now we don't have our subsites and that might be fairly obvious but another thing to be aware of is that uh, the design package does not copy subsites. So as you can see we have under subsites here a couple of um, key subsites and also subsites within them and of course the design package does not contain these elements. These are considered information architecture and they are not transferred as you can see it's empty. Uh, which could be a good thing if you want to keep the structure the same way and just move the design. Now one of the um, other things that you'll notice is that the page itself um, has not changed. So if I go, if I go back to the home page, uh, we can see uh, in here I have this beautiful page with all of the web parts on it, pre-configured and everything. Uh, in here I don't have, my page is basically just a default page. And this is again, just a, just a configuration, just a file configuration. Design package does not copy files. So uh, what I wanted to show you is how you can actually move, so a couple of ways to move these uh, elements. And that's where really Origami Solution comes into place where we provide ability for you to automatically script uh, the entire page, all of the web parts and provision them in, as well as the site structure and any of the underlying items on the site structure. So that's one approach. Another approach is to use a, a migration tool. There's a lot of migration tools. One of them is ShareGate is um, to copy the uh, the contents of the site exactly how you want it on the uh, on, on another site. So those, these are just a couple of the options and of course there's a manual option uh, the option of uh, you going ahead and uh, having to um, recreate all of your pages and pre-configure all the web parts. It's usually it's not the problem it's, it's, it's time consuming however and also prone to error so of course if I'm gonna have to go through this site and pre-configure pre or reconfigure all of the web parts here and do the same thing for departments and employee services. This can get quite tedious and uh, of course there's a lot of content to be uh, to, to go through and as well as you know so it's going to take a lot of time and uh, there's of course opportunity to always make make a mistake and uh, not configure something so or not publish something so it'll show up properly for you but it won't show up properly for users. So highly recommend some of the alternative automated options. Hopefully you found this useful and thank you for watching.